episode of Cache Canada, we're taking you on geocaching's newest feature, the Adventure Lab. And Lyric Lass and I are here to check out the Adventure Lab. It has 10 stages and we want to make sure you get the most out of it. So we're going to tell you all about doing an Adventure Lab coming up next. The Geocaching Adventure Lab app is a new way for geocachers to find and log lab caches. Lab caches are an experimental geocache type often played at mega events. The caches count toward your geocaching statistics and total finds. Unlike other types of caches, lab caches do not have a container and can also be located indoors. Adventure Labs are only available on a smartphone and can be played on either an iPhone or an Android. The app can be found at either the App Store or Google Play. Once you've downloaded the app, open it up to see where the closest lab is to you. They will be listed in distance from your location. In this testing phase, there is no map of the labs, unfortunately. When you're near your chosen destination, click on Start to get going. Some adventures will show all the destinations, some won't. We picked the closest to us and off we went. First stop, the Grand Rapids Children's Museum with its beautiful mosaic. The code word we needed was at the end, near the entrance. We found it and we're off again. Next up, Bob's Brewery and Grand Rapids Iconic Blue Bridge, one of the longest truss bridges in Michigan. And no, we didn't have time to stop for a brew. At the Grand Rapids Public Museum is an Apollo Command Module, and here you need to know when this time capsule is scheduled to open on this stage of an adventure lab. Pretty darn cool. All the artwork and architecture gave a feel for the city. Each stage of the Adventure Lab is worth one lab cache. To complete each stage of the Adventure Lab, you have to be in close proximity to where the answer is. The Adventure Lab is like it's like an electronic multi. Yeah, or where I go. And it's like a tourist destination. At each stage, you could actually explore each of the stages that you're going to. Mm -hmm. And some of them look pretty interesting. Yeah, we'll have to come back and check these out. Yep. But for now, we got to go to another stage. Yes, let's go. Uh, thanks for joining us for this Adventure Lab episode for Cache Canada. And share, like, and give us your input. Yeah, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about an adventure lab, lab caches, or Cache Canada. And if you've done one, let us know that too. Cool. Hey, we'll see you later. Where, Where will, will geocaching, geocaching take, take you? you? Okay. Anytime, man. <laughs> I can't think of what to say. <laughs>